Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. And I would like to wish everyone just a happy, wonderful, blessed Easter. I um, thought this was a little cute and fitting for Easter day. <laughs> so why not have a little fun with it, right? I hope you guys got to spend time with your friends and family, neighbors, um, whoever you celebrate Easter with. I got uh, to take some time. My mom came yesterday and um, we went shopping. We, I actually found a dress for the wedding. Yay! And I'm going to, it fits right now, but I think um, if I lose more weight, I might have to take it in a touch, but I think it'll still be fine and I am planning on losing more weight. So, I'm super excited about that. We also found a dress for my mom, so that was wonderful. Haley was thrilled because she was really getting nervous about it. She's like, Mom, you have to go get that dress. You have to get a dress. You have to get a dress. You have to get a dress. And I'm like, what's the hurry? The wedding's not till August. <laughs> yeah, I don't do things real far in advance. You guys may know that about me. Thank you all so much for popping in. I have had some technical difficulties today. So... <laughs> I got to take this off because it's making me crazy. <laughs> but happy Easter, everybody. Um, so there's some things going on with Facebook Live that are disturbing. <laughs> Thanks, Bev. Bev says you are too cute. Um, one of the things that's happening, I heard earlier this week that a fellow demonstrator had her Facebook Lives removed from Facebook because she was asking people to S-H-A-R-E too much. Now, Facebook has some, I don't know, some analytic magic things that they can um, sort through these videos and pick out those particular words that they don't want to be used. And I'm like, why would they not want us to S-H-A-R-E our videos? Well... I think it's because they want us to pay for it. And while I do boost some of my posts on Facebook, and boost means I pay money to have them pushed out um, to Facebook members, I don't boost everything. I, you know, who can afford that, number one? But number two, I thought, really, Mark Zuckerberg? You need more money because you're not making enough with Facebook? So I'm a little perturbed at that whole situation. But I want to let you guys know that it's a problem. I found um, tonight, or earlier today, when I went on to my page where you're at right now, to go find the winners for S-H-A-R-I-N-G-ing. <laughs> I'm not going to say the word because I don't want any more of my videos removed. Um, what I found is the video from April 7th, which was the last time I was live, um, had been removed and so has another one of my videos. They just deleted them from my Facebook business page. So I'm not very happy about that and I thought the way that we're going to get around this because I do want you to S-H-A-R-E because that's caring, right? <laughs> Is I've got this. Yeah. So I can do that. You guys, make sure you're doing this part. And that really helps me out. And I think as long as I don't say the word, we're going to be fine. And um, like I said, I'm a little perturbed with Facebook because I do boost posts. I do pay for advertising. I am giving them money. And apparently, they just don't have enough. And I find that really kind of ridiculous. So anyways, I'm over my rant. Um, Shelly asks, is that why some are moving from Facebook to YouTube? I don't know. Um, I, I really don't think at this point that's why. I think that um, a lot of people have been doing YouTube lives. And that's very challenging is what I've heard. Because you need a monitor, somebody to sit at their computer because you get a lot of spammers. Remember that guy that came on here and was making nasty, like vulgar comments? Um, you get a lot of those on YouTube. Um, and what I've heard is, and I don't mean to like 
um, categorize anybody, but there's a lot of gamers that don't have a lot going on. And the gamers will come on to your YouTube live and just start hitting you with hundreds of messages that jam up your live. So you have to actually have somebody sitting at another computer monitoring what's going on. And you can put those people in a timeout. And it's a whole big thing. I'm not going to get into it. I know about it. Um, but, you know, that faces some more challenges. So then the other thing that I found is there's something wrong with the link. Because I share a link automatically that um, the, it should have posted this morning saying I will be live tonight. But um, it didn't post. And so I went and looked at it and something's wrong with the link. And I, I don't know if Facebook had something to do with that either. But I'm going to blame them. No, I'm not. <laughs> so anyways, um, just a lot of frustration today. So guess what? I don't have any comments to refer to from the 7th. I don't have any S-H-A-R-E-S's to refer to from the 7th. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a double giveaway next week. And I'm sorry for those of you that watched last time and S-H-A-R-E-D'd. Um, there's, I can't find you. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Challenges, right? <laughs> Facebook Live is challenging. And Kathy says YouTube is not as fun as Facebook Live. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Never actually watched a YouTube Live. Um, but I think this is really fun. And I know when I do my, when I'm going to be gone and I do my Facebook Live not live, that's not as fun for me either, Kathy. So thank you for saying that. I appreciate it. So anyways, I've got a note to myself. I'm going to do a double giveaway next week. And I apologize because my videos are gone. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is what I've got. I am not going to say this word right here. So that my videos get deleted. I'm not saying it, but I do ask you in all love to please do this. It really helps me out. Um, and you know this right here. You do these three things. Whoops, this is all backwards. You do these three things and we're good. So <laughs> I'll just bring that in every once in a while to um, remind people who have not been on from the beginning. And um, we'll go from there. So. I have a lot of things today, tonight, and um, I'm so glad you guys are joining me. I know it is Easter, and um, I know there were some people that were kind of a, maybe a little like, you're going to be live on Easter? Well, it's 7 o'clock at night here on um, in Wisconsin, and we did our Easter stuff all this morning. I took... My mom, well, Steve took us, my mom and me and Haley, and then my nephew, Jake, we all went to a local supper club and had Easter brunch. That was very different for us because usually we go to my mom's house, and um, I think this is like the first time in many, many years that we didn't do that. I invited her over here, and then we went out for brunch, and it was delicious and fun and great conversation, and... Then my mom needed to head home. She's got some important things going on tomorrow. I did have her do a little work if you saw my post earlier today. I had her put my um, blends storage together, you guys. And I have to say that I am really excited about this. I, I have a lid for it, but I need to get some more stacks because I have more markers. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I just didn't order enough of these stacks. So I've got another, whoo, I've got another one coming. And, um, oh, hang on, I just shuffled the whole deal. There we go. Now, these, oh, <laughs> I love, do you love live? Oh, my Lord. These are, um, they're not meant to be moved around and carried around. So, that was probably like a really dumb thing to do. <laughs> oh, well. It is what it is. So, anyways, um, I had my mom put that together. She did a great job. And I'm going to order some more. I've got tons of other storage components to go with for my for my stuff. But I just haven't had time. Being up in um, Minneapolis for... Oh, here's all the different things. Being up in Minneapolis for a week. I was there for like an entire week. Everybody's laughing, I know. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad I'm among friends. <laughs> um... So 
being gone for a week, I'm still kind of trying to catch up a little bit. Um, and I, and I'm, I'm making great progress. I have kind of a cool announcement. I've been asked to um, join a tutorial group so that I will be able to bring my customers um, a beautiful selection of tutorials that will be, I think, a reward for placing orders. And um, it's a new group that I got invited into. I've wanted to be invited into one of these groups for quite a while, but didn't know quite how to go about it. And it was really kind of cute because um, one of the gals had, I don't know why, but she had to drop out of the group. And there's one person in each country. So one Stampin' Up! demonstrator in each country. And um, the U.S. demonstrator had to back, she had to drop out of the group. And so um, this other demonstrator contacted me and said, would you maybe be interested in that? Donna, you're so funny. <laughs> Donna says she does stuff like that all the time. Um, and... Uh, when she asked me, it was a Facebook private message, and I went, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't believe you asked me to join this. Uh, and she like just typed back, seriously, question mark? And I was like, oh, what did I, did I do something? And then I said, yeah, seriously. And she's like, we are so honored to have the Kelly Atchison in our group. I'm like, no, 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 I'm honored to be in that group. So it was really kind of cute because um, I was in awe that she invited me. She was in awe that I wanted to join, and um, it was just really neat. So that's new. I have that coming up. Um, I don't know exactly when the first one goes live, but it'll be part of a blog hop, so that'll be fun. And then there will be a private tutorial involved. And again, that is for my um, customers that place orders. I don't know all the details yet, so we'll see. And somebody, I think it was Terry, just said that I look fantastic. Thank you, Terry. My um, Optavia coach is watching, Bev. And as of yesterday, I'm down 24 pounds. Woohoo! I'm so, so excited. I feel great. I've got a ways to go yet because I think I want to drop about 10 to 15 more pounds. So um, I'm working on it, except that buffet today. That probably wasn't real successful, but it wasn't a disaster either. I did eat some mashed potatoes and some stuffing, not going to lie. And um, But I just had a blueberry muffin that is on my plan, so I'm sticking to it here. Okay. I have a whole bunch of stuff to show you. Thank you guys so much. Everybody's saying congratulations. Yay, you. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff to show you from on stage. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm coming in here almost a week later than we all went to on stage. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it for the end of my Facebook Live. And if you're not too tired of me or you have to leave, you can watch it. Or you can always come back to the replay if Facebook doesn't delete it. Yeah, so um, for those of you that may come on late, go up, go back and watch the beginning. There's a whole thing going on with Facebook. and blah. How many weeks have I been on it? Somebody just asked. Um, I have been on it since the beginning of... Oh, gosh, Bev, how long has it been? I, wa I got back from Arizona at the end of January. So sometime in February, I started this weight, this, um, Bev doesn't like me to call it weight loss, but that's what I'm in it for. Um, I don't know, plan, plan, that's the word. <laughs> um, I started the plan, I think in February, maybe the first or second week in February. So I've been losing like two to three, three pounds a week, usually just two pounds a week. And you guys, the really exciting part, oh, Graham, Game of Thrones is on tonight. Yeah. Um, the really exciting part is I have not done a stitch, and I mean stitch of exercise, zero zip zilch. I sit on my butt constantly, and it's all about what I'm putting in my mouth. So for those of you that don't like to exercise, and I hate it, um, this is a really good plan. Okay, so enough of that. I am going to start exercising soon because I like to go for bike rides when the weather gets nice. I go for a really long bike ride and then I walk through this um, nature preserve thing where I see all the deer. that I can like walk right by deer. I can almost touch them. And um, then I ride my bike back home. So it's really fun. 
Okay, so somebody just asked me, um, yeah, Steve gets to eat all the chocolate rabbits. <laughs> somebody just asked me, <clears throat> when is the wedding? <clears throat> Excuse me. My um, Haley is getting married on August 3rd. So it's um, it's a ways. It's at the kind of towards the end of, do we call that the end of summer? Kind of right in the middle of summer, isn't it? Kind of. So I'm excited about that. I'll have a nice tan. Yay. First week. Noreen lost seven pounds. <laughs> she probably gained it back today. Yeah, I know, right? Uh. <laughs> Things like that happen. Um, you know, I was gone in Minneapolis for a week, and while I started out really good, like the first meal I had when I was there was a nice grilled chicken salad, and it just went downhill from there, I have to tell the truth. And um, I came home, and all I had gained back was two pounds. And it only took me a couple days, and I was back down those two pounds. So... Um, it didn't really seem to hurt anything and I didn't go crazy, but, um, I ate pretty good. <laughs> okay. Oh, Melanie says August 3rd is her birthday. Yay. Um, so I'm going to show my onstage goodies at the end. So if you didn't see them someplace else yet, you'll want to see them. I got some really neat stuff. Um, I have make and takes to show you. I have gifts. That I got from people in my team. Thank you, Annette. Thank you so much. And um, all kinds of goodies there. So, oh, and I think um, sometime this week I might do an unboxing of my um, purchase pre order, which when we were in Minneapolis last week, we get a list of stuff that we can order from the brand new catalog, which, oh, hang on, let me grab it. I have the brand new catalog right here. Yeah, I can't show you the inside. It's against rules, but you can see this front cover and it is amazing. Yeah, so um, I get, I can show you all the stuff that I have already. I do have my purchase premiere, pre-order, whatever it's called. And um, I'm going to do a, just a maybe an impromptu Facebook Live this week, and I'll unpack my box with you because I've opened it, but I haven't unpacked it yet. You'll get to see all the goodies. And there is one way that you guys can pre-order from this new catalog, and that is when you join my team of discount shoppers or business builders. And um, you get to pre-order starting May 2nd, so that's coming up really quick. Okay, so watch for that. I, I'm going to pull this list off of here so I don't forget to do that. Um, the retirement list is out. Have you guys seen it? So all the, uh, Marcia says, are the alphabet dies retiring? Yes, the big letter alphabets, if that, if, is that, that what they're called? They are retiring. And um, the retirement list is out. The first list that was sent out was kind of a little bit of a disaster. Um, we are moving all of our red rubber clear mount stamps to the cling mount version. We're getting rid of all the wood mount stamps except the big background ones. And so when the retirement list came out, it showed all those stamps, like even the ones that are gonna be in the new catalog, it showed them retiring because we're putting them um, in, they're coming in a new format. And so that's why it showed that. But I did post lists that um, are sorted out better and don't have all that craziness going on in them. If you have any questions about what's retiring, just let me know and I can tell you. I went through I went through my catalog and I marked everything that's retiring with an R last night. So um, my whole catalog is marked up and I know what's retiring now. Um, can you order the new alphabet dies with the pre-order? Well, Mercy, um, yeah, you probably can. They might be gone by then, but they might not be. And that's a chance that you take when you wait on anything like that because those um, alphabet dies are only while supplies last. So if they run out of them, then they're gone. But yeah, on a pre-order, you can order anything that's available to be ordered. Um, out of the big catalog, out of the occasions catalog, off the pre-order. So, great question. Um, and by the way, you... Um, yeah, never mind. I don't know where I was going with that. Okay, so we have some big changes. 
I think, would the alphabet dies be worth purchasing? Well, Chris, it depends. If you're a demonstrator, um, no, I wouldn't purchase them because you can't use them as a business. If you're a discount shopper and you like the alphabet, I would definitely recommend them. I've used them a ton. There's a gazillion ideas out there. They are fabulous. The size is good. I love them. Um, so it's completely up to you. Yeah, Lynn says she loves them too. Um, oh, and Mercy's talking about the new lowercase ones. No, I don't believe you can order those on the pre-order. But sometimes the pre-order is a little different than what we got to order from the Minnesota or the on stages around the world. Sometimes that pre-order is a little different. So I, I'm thinking that they won't be available until the new catalog goes live on, and I can never remember the date, June 2nd, 3rd, or 4th, something like that. <laughs> Will the ink be available until June? What ink? Um... If it's listed as backordered, will you get them? Yeah, if something's listed as backordered, that means more more are coming in. Okay, Mercy. Oh, I just missed your message. Hang on. I got to get you guys live up here. I've got so many questions coming in. Went through the new caddy and have a list started. Love being a discount shopper. What are they getting to replace them? I don't know, Marsha. Um, I would like to have them for the Eclipse cards. Yes, they are fabulous for that. Like I said, I've used mine a ton and I love them. Like, seriously love them. Um, so if you have them, yay you. If you don't, um, and yeah, you're a hobby demo discount shopper or you do a lot of scrapbooking, they're really great for that too. So is if it is listed as back ordered, will you get them? Okay. Are they offering lowercase ones in the new catalog? I don't know. Um, I really haven't had a lot of time to go through. I've looked at the new catalog, but to answer a specific question like that, I, I I don't, I think actually, now that I'm thinking about it, you know my memory's bad, right, you guys? Um, there are some cursive dies, I think, coming in the new catalog. So um, we will have something new, but they're smaller than the large letter alphabet, so just know that. Um, so we are uh, going to be um, disconnecting with our Big Shot Sizzix company and so we're no longer going to be offering the big shot and um hi Marcella thank you she said she's a new follower love your YouTube from Illinois thank you very much um so we're getting rid of the big shot we're going to have a new die cutting machine coming in but it's not going to be available for a little while so if you're in the market for a new one hang tight to see what we get I'm excited about this change um, we are going to be eliminating that middleman, which was Sizzix. And that caused a lot of problems for Stampin' Up! with delays and stuff when we had back orders. So I think this is going to improve things and it's moving in the right direction. The other thing that we are going to be replacing is our paper cutter. And we're kind of in the same situation with that. Um, we are not going to be, we're not going to have a paper cutter for a little, for a little while. So um, just know that. We have a new one coming. If you're in the market for a new paper cutter, hang tight till you see what we have. I'm also excited about that. Don't forget that our ink colors are retiring, and those include um, Berry Burst. Oh, yeah. Berry Burst. I'm like, was that? Yeah. Berry Burst. My favorite. Lemon Lime Twist. Oh, my Lord. Fresh Fig. Powder Pink. Um, Tranquil Tide. And I got them all. All five of those colors are retiring. If a demo is not allowed to use retired products, what is everyone going to use instead of the big shot? Megan, um, that's demonstrator talk, and I'd rather not get into that. If you want to private message me, I'm happy to have a conversation with you about it. Um, yeah, so, okay. Thanks, thanks for asking questions, though. I do appreciate it. But you can private message me, and we can talk about that. Heather, the Bunny Builder Punch, is that still back ordered? You know, I don't think it is. I think it's maybe available now. So I went through the discont or the um, back ordered list earlier today, and I don't recall seeing it on there, but I wasn't specifically looking for it. So if you want to pop me an email, I can look and give you a definite answer on that one. Okay, I have winners. Where did my winner stuff go? Okay, hang tight because I did. Oh my lord, I did something with it. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's in my basket of goodies. Okay. Um, I do have two winners that I'm going to give away stuff to, and 
Hang on a second. Since my um, videos were deleted, um, we have no word on what they're replacing with it. So, um, yeah. The big shot, I meant. Um, I have two winners from last week. And I lost one of my... I'll find it later. That's fine. Okay, so so I was gone for two weeks. So I was fully prepared to give away two sets of stuff tonight, right? And, um, oh, Jean says she thought the bunny builder punch as well as the stamps were totally gone. I could be wrong. I don't know. But I don't think, I don't think that's necessarily the case. But I, I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, message me and I'll let you know. Um, Barb just got hers on Friday. So I assume you're talking about the bunny punch. And um, yeah, so we're, we're going to move on from the whole big shot and the paper trimmer thing now. And we're going to give away some prizes. Um, I have Happy Beach set here. And of course, I could go in and look at my orders from the last two weeks because Facebook wasn't able to delete those. <laughs> Jenny says the bunny builder punch is available. I thought it was. Okay, good. Thanks, Jenny. I appreciate it. Um, happy Beach, our winner from placing an order in the last couple weeks is Janice Cox of Jacksonville, Florida. Congratulations, Janice. Woohoo! And I was happy you won this because it is kind of Florida-ish, isn't it? <laughs> I think you'll love this. And the next winner is the piece of cake stamp set. And where's my list of people? Because the um, tag fell off of it. Susan Caters. From Green Bay, Wisconsin, you are the winner of the piece of cake stamp set. So I will be mailing those out tomorrow. I do have um, addresses for both of them. So congratulations, ladies. And I have a brand new on, cla on class. I have a brand new um, online class available using the piece of cake bundle. These are not the cards from the class. These are all cards that I've received and they're upside, whoops, they're upside down. <laughs> this is all very tricky, you know. Um, anyways, I have a brand new class that just got released on Friday. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments on it. People are loving it. It includes eight beautiful cards made with this bundle. It's a punch and a stamp set, the piece of cake. If you are on my team, those are free to you. It is $20 if you're not, or if you order the bundle of products listed on my blog post, you can get the $20 class for free too. So, um, again, on my blog, and I will when I flip my camera around, you'll have the address for my blog, so you can go check that out. Um, it's eight cards, exclusive cards. These are not found on the internet any place. And then five different packaging ideas, tags for gifts or like um, wraps around little boxes and stuff like that. Some really, really cute stuff. So if you would like a link to that and you can't find it, um, just pop me a private message and I'll be happy to show you where that is so you can see all the details. But this is a fantastic bundle of products. And um, let me move this back here. I don't want to lose it. Let's see, if you don't have a current Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be happy to send you our new catalogs. Also, if you place an order with me that um, in the last six months, that is $50 or over, you automatically get added to my list to get a free catalog when the new ones come out. So, know that. Um, da -da -da -da. Oh, and make sure that when you S-H-A-R-E, that you're doing that to your own Facebook page, not to mine. It doesn't work when you do it to mine. <laughs> Some people, I think, maybe get a little confused by that because all this stuff is a lot to know, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, I think the Bunny Builder Punch is retiring, but we do have them in stock. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Okay, are we ready to stamp? Did I forget anything? I don't think I did. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, remember, if you're watching later on YouTube, make sure you S-H-A-R-E. We can't say that word anymore because um, Facebook has outlawed it. <laughs> Whatever. Um, oh, I do have to show something that I got. 
I got, I have to show you this just adorable little gift bag. And it's not handmade, but it's so stinking cute. Look at this. Follow the bunny. He has chocolate. Mary Olson dropped this off today. Some sea salt sore ghirardellis. Um, and she messaged me and told me to tell Steve that it was on my front porch. And of course, he ran out right away and got it. And uh, <laughs> thanks, Mary. Came with a really cute card. And I will show you that at the end also. I'm going to save the cards and all the goodies from on stage until the end. And then um, we can take our time with them and not feel rushed. Okay. Who's ready to stamp? I'm ready to stamp. All right, guys. I'm going to plug my phone in. And if you get motion sickness, your Facebook Live date is wrong. Is today not the 21st? Did I put the wrong date in? Oh, it is. Thank you for telling me that. I will change that. I appreciate it. Um, I did put 321, and it's actually 421. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, if you get motion sickness, close your eyes right now. I'm going to turn my camera around, and I will let you know when you can open your eyes up. Here we go. Make sure I don't touch anything and delete you guys. What's what's showing here? This? No. Whoops, I just pushed something right off my table. This right here. Okay, I think we're straight. Whoops, you can open up. Now I have to undo my mirroring. Everything is good with the world. Okay, you guys, we're ready to rock. This is my blog address, so you can go check out that online class. There's also an ordering button in the right-hand column that you can click on. The online catalogs are there. You can click on any of those. You can see all of my online classes and my online class button in the right-hand column. And also, there's a $99 kit button. So if you're thinking about um, joining my team of discount shoppers or business builders, there's a whole bunch of information. Just click on that $99 kit button. Blog right here. If you're going to place an order with me, I always, always appreciate those. Those are what keeps me in business and keeps free videos coming your way. So um, use this host code when you go to place your order. That helps me out. And only do that if it's under $150. You always get special perks from me. But if it's over $150, you will get your own Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up. So you get free money when your order is over $150. You get $15 in free product of anything you want. That's the only time you can order the exclusive host sets that are at the back of the mini catalog and the annual big catalog. So just keep that in mind. The higher your order is, the more free stuff you get. It's 10% and then it goes up to 12% and I don't know what all the percentages are. Math is hard. But... <laughs> Okay, I have some really cute cards to share with you tonight. And we're going to start unloading these baskets here. I should really get out my ribbon. Let me put my ribbon down here. This helps me keep things in my frame. See that ribbon? I just put that on my table so I don't go below that. I tend to pull everything back and do it down here. And I need to be doing it up here where you can see it, right? All right. Oh... Yeah, my screen looks really good here. Um, so I don't know if there's an internet problem tonight, but my screen looks really good. So here's what we're going to do. Now, I wasn't going to buy this bundle of products, but I thought, you know, I have a lot of friends with pets. Um, this is the punch. It's a dog punch with a heart. This is called the dog builder punch. And then we have the Happy Tails stamp set. And I wasn't going to buy this because, well, I don't have a dog anymore. And, you know, why should I care about a dog? But guess what? I don't make cards for myself, right? I mean, let's be real. I make cards for other people. And my friends and family have dogs. And they we all love our pets. We have two cats here. Um, and while I am more of a dog person... Um, our dog, uh, we lost our dog a few years ago, but my friends have dogs and my friends are the ones that I send my cards to, right? My friends and family. So I thought, you know what? I really do need this stamp set and I'm going to show you a couple super cute cards because when somebody loses a pet, 
a lot of times those pets are their loved ones. They may not have children, their children have left and gone away, or it's just they're part of the family. They are a member of your family. So, I thought it was super important that I get the stamp set. And um, I know sometimes people say, well, I don't have a dog, so I don't need that stamp set. It's not, you don't make cards for yourself, do you? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> I'm just being silly. But, um, I mean, sometimes I wasn't thinking that way either. I was thinking, well, I don't have a dog. I don't need a dog stamp set. But it's not about me. It's about my friends. And they have dogs. And when, even if somebody gets a new dog, if somebody gets a new dog or a new puppy, you can make them a cute dog card and send it to them with a congratulations in it. So I just thought this was a really cute um, bundle. And I had to have it. And here it is. And we're going to play with it tonight. Now, Again, if you're not a dog person, I'm going to show you a really cool technique. Um, I did this a couple weeks ago, but I thought, mm, this is a good reason to do it again. Hang on. What are you guys drinking tonight? Oh, my lid is so dusty. Um, I have my strawberry lemonade um, infuser drink from Optavia that I absolutely love. It's got caffeine in it. That's why I can talk so fast. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to get out all my bits and pieces here. And I've got my direct, or not my directions, my um, dimensions. Here's all of our pieces. So I've got a big scrap of Whisper White here. Oh, I see a lot of waters being, that's what you're drinking tonight. Good for you. I still hate water. It sucks all the joy out of my life. Oh, Lynn just had a mojito. We love those. <laughs> Tea, that's good. I like tea too. I've got an envelope. Then I've got Berry Burst. Don't forget, you guys, this is one of my happiest colors ever. Berry Burst is um, retiring, and I'm really going to miss it. But you know what? We've got some brand new colors coming in that I'm excited to use. So you always have to kind of look on the bright side, right? Berry Burst, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And then I brought in our in color, all of these are retiring also, our in color six by six. And I just don't use these enough, but I've been getting them out lately and I love them. You get all the in colors in four different patterns. So let me show you those patterns. Um, this is Tranquil Tide Polka Dots with stripes. And then we have little, little polka dots with white stripes. And um, each one of the in colors comes with those patterns. So these six by six packs of paper are wonderful. Retiring, retiring. We're also going to be using the mini ruffled ribbon that is Berry Burst. And oh, I just love this ribbon. Also retiring. Everything to do with Berry Burst is retiring. Then, uh, where did the rest of my... Hang on, I'm losing... I'm missing some layers here. Well, that's funny. Thank goodness. I have Whisper White card insides pre-cut because I need one of those for this. Okay, I think we're good. We're ready to stamp. Now, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to find my glue. Yeah, I know, Mercy. Um, I'm really sad to see Berry Burst go, too, because it's one of my favorite colors. Did I just do that wrong? No, I didn't. <laughs> Winning. Oh, I thought I put glue on the wrong side. So I've got this piece of designer series paper here. And this is three inches by four and a quarter. And remember, all of these dimensions will be posted above the video, this Facebook video, when I'm done stamping tonight. Hang on, I just messed that up. It was crooked. Um, so you can always refer back to that. They'll also be posted on my blog on Tuesday so you can see pictures. So... For whoever said that um, they were breaking up or their screen was fuzzy, they weren't able to see very good, um, who, whoever said that, on my blog you will be able to see photographs that are crystal clear of all of these cards. So that's a good thing to check back to on Tuesday. Diana's asking, what's your favorite new in color? I have not even had time to figure that out yet, Diana. Um, I've been so busy working on that online class and getting this ready to roll that I didn't even, 
I didn't even spend much time looking at the new in colors. I, I really like the one that's kind of a terracotta color just because we really don't have that color, but that could change as soon as I get some time to work with those colors. I do like the new one colors, so thank you for asking, but I don't have a very good answer. All right, I'm gonna bring in my piercing mat. I've covered that with typing or printer weight paper. And we've got a few elements we're gonna do here before we get to the technique. Did anybody see my, here it is. My embossing buddy, I'm just going to rub that across a three quarter by four and a quarter inch piece of basic black. And then I'm gonna bring in my Versamark ink and my dog bones. Yeah, this is super cute. So I'm just stamping these in Versamark ink all the way across this layer. And then we're going to use some white embossing powder. This is kind of a nifty technique you do with anything on dark cardstock. So, you know, while I'm using, you know, I kind of worry that people are like, man, I don't need that dog set, so I don't need to watch this. But um, I'm going to show you a couple different techniques that will be valuable for any stamping, not just this dog set. So always know that when I start creating stuff for you guys, I try to figure out things that are going to be beneficial in more than one way, okay? So I poured white embossing powder on that. I hope you can see it good. The bones. And then you're going to take your heat tool. And through the magic of TV, I have already done that. <laughs> yeah. You know how I am. I don't like to keep you guys waiting. Okay, so the really cool thing that I'm going to do to this now is I got my Stampin' Chalk marker and I'm going to bring that in and color these bones white on this black cardstock. And I just think this is such a cool idea. I found this, this particular idea to color these bones in. Well, I don't know if they actually used a chalk, ch or chalk marker, but I found the idea online for coloring the bones. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is just genius, isn't it? That's why I love that we share online so we can all take advantage of that. Okay. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this piece and we're going to add that to the front of our card. We're going to overlap it just a little bit on top of our designer series paper. I see I have it just a little bit long here and you guys know me well enough to know that'll make me crazy. Megan says, what an awesome idea. I have to make a wiper card today and was going to use this bundle. Now I will heat emboss the sides. Ah, oh, that's a great idea, Megan. I love it. And whoever you give that card to, they're going to love it too. So, okay, cute, right? Oh, you know what I shouldn't have done? Yeah. I should not have glued this on yet because we have some more decorating to do of our card base. But I'm going to save myself. We're going to be okay here. I've got um, Berry Burst ink, and hang on, because I just pushed a little too hard here and got ink everywhere. I noticed earlier today, I went in the bathroom, I was washing my hands, and I had um, ink on my cheek, and it was Berry Burst ink, and I kind of giggled to myself, because I'm like, well, there you go, and uh, I guess if I was going to be covered with ink, I want it to be one of my favorite colors, <laughs> right? Oh, somebody said they noticed that the paw print practically fits in the heart punch. We're going to have to take a little look at that. That is a really good tip. So I'm just randomly stamping the paw prints on this bottom part here. And I, oops, darn it. Oh, look how good I am. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, let's see. I want to check that out because I hadn't realized that. So here we go with the little heart. Um, let's see. Yeah, look at that. It almost does fit in there. That's kind of a cute little idea. Thank you for sharing that. All right, next we have a scrap of white, and I decided that this card um, isn't even about dogs. Isn't that funny? It's going to be for my friend, and I haven't talked to her in a long time, and I think that I need to send her a card, and this is going to be the one that I send. So, it doesn't have anything to do with dogs. She likes dogs. I like dogs. 
but it's a friend card. So I'm using our tailored tag punch and I'm punching out the forever friend or friends forever. And then I'm going to take my snips, cut it in half. And I wanted a little background behind this. And I love that we can do this and be successful at it. This is one of those punches that you can add that little bit of background color. You want to, of course, get it on there straight so your friend knows that you care. <laughs> yeah. If I sent a crooked something to my friends, they're like, oh, she just gave me this sloppy card. No, they wouldn't say that, right? I'm just teasing. Well, they might. <laughs> Okay, there we go. And then some dimensionals. Put a couple dimensionals on the back. Oh, that's kind of hanging over the edge a little bit. I'm going to have to fix that because I don't want my friend saying, oh, she sent me the sloppy card. No, I'm just kidding. I really don't. There. Okay, so we've got this ready to rock. We're going to put that right here on the front. So far, what do you guys think? It's kind of pretty cute, isn't it? I don't know. I think it's neat. Okay, before I go too much further, we're going to take some of this ruffled ribbon. And I'm just going to tie it around the front. And I'm going to do something that I don't often do, and that's tie a bow right away with it. Usually I tie a bow and then stick it on with a mini glue dot or something like that. But this worked out pretty good earlier today. Oh, i got to get my ribbon going the right way here. Now it's going to give me a hard time, obviously. Okay, there we go. Tie a nice little ribbon. Yeah, I like, um, Deanne says that she uses that punch often. I really like that Taylor Tag Punch because it fits a lot of my greetings. And it's kind of a clean and crisp little, um, nice... Nice punch. I use circles a lot, right? And it's just something a little different that, I, that I'm that i really glad I have. So that tailored tag punch is a good one to have. Here we go. There's our nice little bow. I didn't have to futz with that too much, did I? Push that up to the top. Okay, now, ready for, our, oh, let's do our inside right away. Here comes the inside of our card. Then I'll show you what I did to the inside of my sample. Because, yeah, that was fun. Not. It's pretty frustrating. Um, this greeting says, A best friend leaves a paw print on your heart. And I'm just stamping that in Memento Black ink. I love the font on that. It's kind of funky, right? Then I'm going to come in with some smoky slate and I'm going to stamp the little dog house and then I've got the um, detail lines for the dog house I guess that's a good thing to call it right detail lines but I'm gonna stamp that so I lined my roof up with the edge of the gray uh, and it turned out pretty good all right glue this inside Got a little bit of decoration here. Where'd my card go? Right here. I'll move these out of the way. There we go. Friends forever. A best friend leaves a paw print on your heart. So, just a nice cute little friend card. Now, we're not done with it, so don't go anyplace. Um, hang on, my ribbon isn't sticking here. <laughs> Keeps me on track. Now, I brought in my um, silicone craft mat and we are going to take the um, dog stamp here hang on I'm a little discombobulated let me get this closed up and oops I just stuck my finger in it this closed up and I think that my thing is not so my comments aren't scrolling and um, so I might miss some of your comments, you guys, just so you know. I just want you to know that. We're going to use Memento Black again. Yeah, somebody just said, Donna just said, um, 
you can use, we have lots of frame and framelits and lots of different things, sizes and shapes, but I really like punches too. And that's what Donna just said. They're so much faster and they really, really are. So I stamped my little dog here and now I'm going to punch him out. Look at how cute he is. He's a really cute dog. The other thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to stamp my dog. Whoops. We're going to punch another dog out. So you got to punch another dog out first. Then I'm going to ink this up. I'm going to stamp my dog on my silicone craft sheet. And I'm going to bring this in. And we'll see how good I did. And you just press that down. Your ink won't dry on here because it's a non-porous surface. And look at how nice that dog looks. So now we have mirrored images of our stamp. So you could have it going either way, right? Cool. Huh? Yeah. All right, you just wipe this off. You can rinse it off. You can do whatever. I just happen to have a baby wipe here. I'm just going to rinse or wipe it right off. And then I'm going to bring in my dogs. Add some glue. You could pop these up on dimensionals if you wanted to. I just chose not to. Oops. And I'm going to <clears throat> put one of my dogs right here. And one of my dogs right here. And this is just kind of a little, friends, I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. What do you guys think? Cute friend card, right? And then as long as I have an envelope out here, I think I will decorate that up right away so it's ready to go to my friend. And I think I'm just gonna take some little dog prints, paw prints, just like that, okay? So there's our cute little card. Yeah, I really, once I opened the stamp set up and got going on it, I had a really easy time creating these cards that I made and I really wanted to make more and then I thought, no, I need to do other things too. So maybe I'll make some more things with this and show you, um, not on Facebook Live, but maybe just on my blog for some of my blog posts because it is super, super fun and cute. Okay, hang tight. We are going to be making another fun fold using this stamp set, but of course the fun fold will be good for any type of a stamp set. Just learning new fun folds is part of the fun for me. We're going to keep that out. We don't need this anymore or this. Oh, I thought I left that open. I was going to cry. There's no crying and stamping. <laughs> okay, I need to clean all of these stamps. Let me get this cleaned off quick because we're using some of them again. There we go. All right, time to take a drink. Drink time. I saw Wendy Sue had a um, some type of margarita. Yeah, nice, Wendy Sue. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> Margaritas are delicious, and I do love them. I don't drink many of them because if you guys know margaritas, they're pretty strong, right? Okay, next card. Now I'm bringing in some circle punches. I've got some more ribbon. I'm going to use Tranquil Tide on this one because I thought I should have a masculine card ready to rock here. And this would be a perfect one. So here comes an envelope. Whoops, I need to grab a vanilla envelope. That's not going to work. My card base or my card is made with vanilla here. So I forgot about that. We do have vanilla envelopes. Um, I've got a piece of four by five and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half, Tranquil Tide. This color is also retiring, you guys. And we do have Tranquil Tide ruffled ribbon to go with this. The ink color is retiring. That's part of our ink colors. Then I have four by five and a quarter is the um, very vanilla layer. And then I've got a layer of Tranquil Tide that is two and three quarters by four and three eighths. And I've scored it at a half an inch, 
right across the top here. I've got a basic black scrap, which is not big enough as I'm looking at this. I'll get another one out. And then um, the In Color Designer Series paper. This is the Tranquil Tide. And this piece is two and a half by three and three quarters. So let me get a bigger piece of black here. Here we go. This will work much better. All right. I am going to... Now, this card is going to be intended for a sympathy card. And I need to grab black ink. So I put that other one away. Um, and you should always have sympathy cards ready, right? Ready to roll. And whether it's sympathy for a person or a pet or whatever the case may be, I like to have these so I can send them out right away. I don't have to, you know, go, oh, geez, I won't have time to make it until Thursday. And then sometimes that you're so delayed that you're like, oh, what's the point now? But there really is a point, and you should. But you know what I mean? That's kind of where my thought goes. It's like, oh, my gosh, I'm so late with this now because I didn't have one ready. So I encourage you to get it ready. Have these. Make a few of them. Keep them on hand. So when you have a friend that loses one of their family member pets, that you'll have this ready to roll. Okay, so Tranquil Tide Heart, Tranquil Tide um, Little Paw here. We're going to take this little panel that is scored at a half an inch and burnish that edge good, okay? Now I'm gonna take, I folded it this way, I'm gonna put some glue on this tab part and my finger, no, don't do that, yeah. <laughs> Just teasing. And you're going to put this about a quarter of an inch from the left side. So see that? I've just glued that on just like that. Then we're going to take this, we're going to use the stripe side of this, and our black ink, and we're going to put, nope, that's wrong. We're going to put some paws on this black layer. Hang on just a second. This ink pad seems to have a little bit too much ink in it, so I'm going to grab the one that we used for the last card because that one worked just fine. I must have re-inked it and got a little carried away. Oh. Yep, that's better. Okay, so we've got paws going all over the place here. And then we're going to come in with this cute little bone. And we're going to put some bones on here. Aw, oh, Pam says she learned something every time she watches me. Thank you so much because you know what? That is always my goal that I hope you guys are learning something new because when I, whoops, when I watch somebody else or I go out on YouTube and I'm searching for things, I love it when I can learn something new. Like that just makes my whole time that I've spent doing that so worthwhile. So I always want to make your time worthwhile watching me too because I don't want anybody to think that this is a waste of time. I hope I'm teaching you something new, something creative, um, or you're just having fun with me because that's important too. Okay, next I need my scrap. Here comes my scrap of Very Vanilla and I am going to take a best friend leaves a paw print on your heart. I'm stamping that in Memento Black. And then I'm going to punch it out with a two inch circle punch. Now, of course, if you don't have these circle punches, you could use your um, layering circle dies or whatever you need to use to make that happen. Then I've got the starburst punch that goes with the two inch circle punch. And we're going to just glue those together. And I did. Whoops, wrong color. Um, <laughs> hang on. We need that in Tranquil Tide. There we go. Okay, so now we can stick this on here. And then, because I really wanted this to pop on my card, that's where I brought in black and did a two and a quarter inch circle. And I put it on there. put this together without this black layer in here and it just didn't look very good. 
Next, what I'm going to do is bring in my dog builder punch, and I'm going to punch out a dog just out of black. You don't have to stamp and color these and do all the things. You just don't have to do that. So that's what I decided to do here. And we're going to take and put some dimensionals on the back of our dog. And two, when you do like a silhouette like this, you can make your dog face any way you want, right? So I'm only putting dimensionals on the back of the left side, okay? Here comes... Where did all my pieces go? Right here. Okay, so here comes my designer series paper. I'm going to put this right here. Now I thought about adding a black layer to this underneath the designer series paper. That would be a good idea too. So if you want to jazz up your card a little bit, that's not a bad idea. It'll really make that um, Tranquil Tide designer series paper pop, right? And then I'm going to put this kind of right in the center. Here comes my dog. And I'm going to put my dog way down here at the bottom and his tail is going to be going over the edge there. So that just really adds some neat interest. And this back piece right here, you're going to glue onto that four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel of Tranquil Tide. <gasps> Yay! And I've got one more thing. This. I've got our black shimmer ribbon. Look, this one is almost empty. This is also retiring, I'm sad to say, and so are some of these circle punches. But, um, you know, if you like punches, I recommend them. If you have, if you miss them and they're gone already, use your layering circles. But punches are so much faster. I'm so with you on that one. Okay, so here comes a little knot. And again, I thought this would make a really great um, masculine card. And Donna says she was told it's never too late to send a sympathy card. I never do them ahead of time. Oh, you don't want to jinx anybody. Well, that's a good way to look at it. Um, but yeah, you're right because the sympathy cards are appreciated no matter what. Look at how stinking cute that is. So sorry for your loss. What do you guys think? I love this. Okay, got another good one for you. Um, I'm gonna get a vanilla envelope because this is white and that just won't work for me. Oh, you know what? I showed, um, I told you guys I was gonna show you what I did to the inside of my dog card when I made it. Yeah, I dropped it in the ink pad. Yeah, lovely, right? So, things happen. We all know that. Okay, I'm looking at my screen. Hi, Kelly McCauley. How are you? Okay, next card. Let me get some of the stuff out of my way. We're not using the dog set. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring in one of my other favorites. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys. Now, along with our um, Happy Tails stamp set and the Dog Builder Punch, you buy these two together, you get 10% discount. We also have the Nine Lives stamp set and this goes with our cat punch so this is a cat punch and the nine live set so you get the happy tails and the cat and you're covered for a, like most everybody's pets right yeah so that's another great um great animal set and you know what is a really good idea is to get these if you like to make cards and donate them you can get these two bundles and make cards and donate them to your local shelter or any other type of um, rescue organization for animal, you know, for cats and dogs. They love stuff like this. You can donate them for, um, what do they call it, when they have a fundraiser for fundraisers. Like you can make cute little um, toppers for dog, homemade dog biscuits and sell them to make money for your, um, rescue animal rescue places um you can also sell the cards people that come to those love to buy animal cards so if you're the kind of person who likes to make cards and donate them for people to benefit from them these two are kind of a must-have if you're into the animal thing because you can make the cutest stuff from them i think that um, people would really be grateful 
and you would be doing a really good service to do stuff like that. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there for a second while I get this all cleaned up so I can move on to my next card. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for being such a great audience. I am so happy you're here with me on Easter Sunday night. And you know, I, I think I forgot to continue on with what I was saying at one point. Um, there were some people that said, you're going to be live on Easter Sunday? Yeah, we need to remember, not everybody has family and friends to spend the holiday with, right? I was lucky that I got to do that this morning, and then our holiday was, we were done with it. But there's a lot of people that were home today and didn't celebrate Easter, and... Um, this is for them, too, you know? So, okay, let's move the dog up to the side. Hang on, I'm getting my computer keyboard covered up with stuff, and my thing isn't scrolling. Oh, Amy says I'm making her eager to get back in her craft room. She's been laid up with kidney stones. Oh, I'm so sorry, Amy. That's horrible. Go make yourself some dog and cat cards. Lemon Zest. You guys are going to love this one. This is really one of my favorite sets. It is also retiring, so if you don't have it, you can do just so many really cute things with this um, stamp set. There is a matching punch that punches out the leaves that are here, and also the, um, the fruit, whether it's a lemon, a lime, you know, you can cut an end off of it and make it a peach, I think. But um, this goes with the one and three quarter inch circle punch, which I think is already out of stock, but um, it matches, so that's pretty cool. Okay, card, oh, let's do a little, little of this. Don't forget that you can do this by doing these things. This is the really big one. Well, that's big too. Oh, well, they're all big. How about this is big? But I can't say this word anymore because Facebook will delete my video. Gotta love that. Anyways, I need to not be bitter about that, but it really does make me a little bit angry. Not gonna rant again. Anyways, so now I've got this card telling you that I would love it if you could do this and make sure you do this to your own page, not to my page. And um, that really helps me out and I appreciate it. Okay. Um, Christina did yard work with her husband today while her teenagers hung out with friends. The rest of the family was busy with their kiddos. Good, did, good deal, good deal. Steve actually came in my um, office today and asked me about my planter outside. He, he asked if there was anything in there that needed to be saved, um, you know, like perennials, because he was digging all the dead stuff out from last season. And wasn't that sweet? I thought that was really nice of him to ask me. Instead of just yank everything out and go, oh, whatever. <laughs> so thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. Okay. Um, I've got a Whisper White envelope. I've got a scrap of white. I've got a layer of basic black. This one is 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and an eighth. I've got a piece for the inside, oops, a piece for the inside that's four by five and a quarter, another whisper white layer that's three and three quarters by five, and then a scrap of black, lemon lime twist, also retiring, you guys. Oh, sadness. Um, I don't, yeah, I'm going to be sad about this one too. This is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half, and then this. Now, this is a piece of our vellum cardstock. And what I did, I didn't really measure this. I just, I was going to, I wing, can I say I winged it? Is that proper English? Um, but this part down here measures one and three quarters. And then I just cut slants up so that this top part is two and three quarters. And again, this is just a guesstimate estimate. So what I'm going to do here is take the smaller of my two white pieces, which is this front piece right here with a little black dot on it. I don't know what that's all about, but, and I'm going to bring in my paper piercing mat. Um, I've got Lemon Lime Twist and Memento ink here. Okay, and Cindy says they don't have to have a reason. <laughs> um, 
Amy, you said, are you making what I just said? What did you just say? I missed it. Okay. Uh, here we go. So I have to show, I have to show you guys something really funny. So when I opened up the stamp set, this is a really old one, right? When I opened up the stamp set, can you see what I did right here compared to here? I forgot to take the stickers off my stamps before I put the labels on them. <laughs> I had a good laugh over that. Anywho, this is the Lemon Zest, Zest stamp set. And I am going to ink this up in, whoops, Lemon Lime Twist. And we are going to stamp some limes on the front of the card. How about right up there? And we'll do one maybe right there. Okay, so you're just going to stamp some limes around. And then here is a, I think I need a little bit bigger piece of white here. Here's another one. We're going to take a scrap of white and stamp another, whoops, lime on it. And then you can use your layering circle dies or your punches to just punch out a lime. Okay, so now we can have lemons, we can have limes, you can make these pink for like um, pink lemonade, all kinds of stuff. I'm also going to take the life short and I'm gonna stamp that in memento black. The inside is coming right here and that is going to be in black also. I gotta remember this one goes sideways. Looks great. And then we need some limes. I'm gonna do a few more limes here. I'm gonna do one there and then just a little one here. Doesn't it just look delicious? Like I am so ready for summer, I cannot even tell you. Okay, this is ready to go inside of our cutie patootie card. And my card base. Delish, right? I've got another idea for this stamp set in my head, but I thought, you know, I don't want to keep you forever. It is Sunday night, and I know people have to get to work. Okay, this piece we're going to punch with the one and a quarter inch circle punch, and that says life short. And then we're going to bring in the one and three eighths inch scallop punch, and we're going to add that right here and put a dimensional on the back of it just like that this is ready to roll and I think we can put this right on here I'm going to put our white layer onto the eighth inch bigger black layer remember this white layer is three and three quarters by five that looks beautiful we can put this on the front of our card. This is just in time for summer. This would make a great invitation to a summer party, too. My daughter told my husband that um, he's been talking about building an outside bar by our pool. <laughs> She's like, so if you're going to do that, Dad, I suggest you get it done by um, July 20th when I'm having my bridal shower at your house. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Haley. We'll be all over that, and he will. He was actually looking for ideas. Okay, so this piece that's one and three quarters and two and three quarters, just cut it a slant. I'm gonna put this into my trimmer and I'm going to score it at a quarter inch. Now, if you don't have a trimmer, we do have a Simply Scored scoring tool that works fabulous. You can do this on there. I'm just gonna keep using my trimmer for however long I feel like. <laughs> um, before I fold this, I'm going to take my Granny Apple Green Light Stampin' Blend Marker, and I'm using this because this will dry on vellum. And I'm just going to make a green drink. Yep, this is going to be like a lime margarita. There you go, Wendy Sue. <laughs> lime margarita. Okay, we're going to fold this over. We're going to burnish it. Oops, hang on. I just, I didn't give this enough time to dry. I touched it. You see my fingerprints all over? Come back in and fix it. I want this to turn out really cool. Okay, that's going to be good. Oh, there we go. Okay, 
Now, I'm gonna burnish these edges with my bone folder. Give it a little bit of drying time. I'm sorry, I was in too much of a rush. And mini glue dots are gonna be our friend for this one. So you guys know what we're making now? I made a card with this layout like years and years ago. And I absolutely loved it. So I'm putting three mini glue dots on here. I need to remember to stay in the camera. One at the top on each side, one in the middle. And one at the bottom. Come on, you little bugger head. Okay. Um, shoot. Hmm. So before you put the mini glue dots on, <laughs> get out your tear and tape. Yeah, don't put the mini glue dots on until you do this fun part. We're going to put some tear and tape at the top of this cup. And now we know what that's for, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need something on the rim of this cup. So I'm going to take my scissors and trim this off. Let's turn it over and make sure I don't cut anything I'm not supposed to. Okay. And then you're also going to take your scissors and trim this back a little bit. So these pieces you folded over aren't sticking out on the front of your cup. Does that make sense? Okay. Now make sure this is on here good. Your tear and tape. We're going to peel that off. And then we're going to add our salt to the rim. Who's loving this? Here we go. This is Dazzling Diamonds Glitter. Look at that. <gasps> Salty rim. Okay, now when you go to put this on the front of your card, I like to like look at the bottom, make sure that my glass is straight across. I'm just going to stick one side down, not both sides. And now I'm going to poof this just a teeny weeny weeny bit. So can you see how that glass sticks out like that? Isn't that cute? I know, right? Okay, we got one more thing to do here. We're gonna put our little life short on the front here. And I should say we have two more things. Remember this piece right here? Hang on. We've got this. You're gonna cut that in half. And then I'm maybe gonna cut it again. Yep, I like that. I like that look better. I'm going to cut this kind of right in the middle. I am going to add a mini glue dot to the back of the left side on the left side of my little slit that I just put in there. And you're going to split this apart and put it on your glass. What do you guys think? <laughs> I thought this was so fun. So, life's short. Squeeze it for all it's worth. Yay! Isn't that fun? Now, this lemon zest bundle is just one of my favorites. I have had so much fun with this over the years. And um, I'm going to miss it. But I wanted to make sure you guys knew about it because it really is fun. You can do lemonade cards, you can do lime cards, you can do pink lemonade, make pink, you can make you can do oranges out of this, grapefruits, you know, whatever you want to use it for. And it's got some really funky fonts, um, some great sayings to my main squeeze. That's kind of cute, right? Yeah, I thought you guys would love this. So I just knew that it was one that I had to do for you. And this is a really easy cup to make. Don't let that slanted sides intimidate you at all. If you want to, you can do measurements to make sure that you're getting it right. But it doesn't have to be perfect. Just cut your slants. It's easy. One and three quarters before you score. You know, so one and three quarters bottom, two and three quarters top. That seems to be just the right size of cup to put on here. Okay, so let me get some of this stuff picked up. And we will, oh, heck, hang on. I got things to show you. Um, what is this? Oh, this was from my embossing. So I'm going to do this. I have to decorate this up, right? I cannot leave this envelope plain. 
Here we go. Put some limes on this puppy. Here we go. How's that? Isn't that fun? Who doesn't want to get this card in the mail? Friends are going to love it. Okay, I'm going to clean up a little bit. Don't forget to do these things. Remember, I can't talk about them, and if you want to know why, you can go back and visit the beginning of this video as soon as I'm done being live and I post it to my page. Um, let me, I'm going to bring this back out here, get my mess cleaned up. I've got a whole bunch of stuff to show you guys. And then we'll bring this out here. Those are the cards that we made tonight. Here we go. Everything cleaned up and put away so I can show you all my loot. Oh, where did my envelope go with the pup? Oh, here it is. Here's the little dog prints with that envelope. I didn't make one for this one because I had the wrong color. Okay. All right, thanks you guys. Thank you so much. Everybody's saying great call. How tall is the vellum? Oh, that's a great question. Thank you for asking that. I'm really sorry that I did not tell you that. It is, I thought I would remember to do that, right? It is um, two and, hang on, let me look here. Two and, well, two and five eighths to two and three quarters is what you're going to need. Two and five eighths. Let me write that down so I make sure I put it in my written instructions. Two and three quarters, let's just say. There. Okay, so I'll make sure that I have that in my instructions too. Okay. Um, let's see. I am going to first bring in all the cards that I've gotten over the last couple weeks. Remember that I was gone last weekend. For those of you that don't want to see this, you just wanted to see the stamping projects, um, now I'm going to share some cards that I got and also all the goodies that I got when I was in Minneapolis, which includes some new product that um, Stampin' Up! gave to us. But if you have to leave me early, please remember to do this. I can't talk I can't say the S-H-A-R-E word, but it is caring. Uh, make sure you're leaving a comment so you will get entered in the drawings to win. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or you're my customer, I always appreciate your orders. Make sure you use this host code. Okay, now we are going to show you what I got in the mail. And I got some really, really cool cards to share with you. Here we go. This one comes from Heather Kohler. Heather sent me this beautiful Easter card using the um, Lily stamp set and that basket weave background. And isn't that pretty? Oh, yeah, and she said thanks for teaching her all these new things, so that's cool. I also got a gorgeous card from my friend Denise. She is back from Arizona. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's got chunky glitter on it. It's really gorgeous. This beautiful Easter card. And then Arliss sent me this card. And it's funny because this flower is made with the lily set. So this is the lily set. Isn't that just so unique? Very pretty card, Arliss. And again, this was an Easter card. So thank you so much. And then we have this beautiful card. This is from my upline, Ann Hebner. And I love what she did with that flax ribbon and then the ruffled powder pink here. Yeah, so, so pretty. This set of dies is retiring that does this flourish off of the circle. Well, so is the paper, so is the powder pink, so is the powder pink ribbon. Yeah, the flax ribbon is going to be in our big catalog. She sent me this card. Um, as, a, as a celebration of my 15 years of Stampin' Up! She is actually my upline. I am under her. Like, oh, what's that? Just a piece of cardstock. So, um, yeah, that was really sweet. Beautiful card. I always appreciate that. And then I got a card from Mary Thiel. How cute is this? I love the daisy with the two little frogs, right? 
This is really sweet, Mary. So she just says that she's enjoying her new Stampin' Up! supplies. They've given her a lot of new energy to make cards and have a great time in Minneapolis. So how sweet was that, right? Hang on a second. My nose is running. I don't want to sit here and snivel. But, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Does, does Steve ever get any mail? Gilmore asks. No, he actually doesn't. The only mail he really gets is, um, bills. <laughs> anybody would like to send Steve mail, he would love that. And I'm sure he's done listening to me. He doesn't have that kind of a um, attention span. <laughs> okay, Sharon Jones made me this beautiful card. And I absolutely love this layout. I just think it's so pretty. And um, she says, a friend is someone who chooses you out of a whole world of people. Isn't that sweet? I love this card. Okay, next. Oh, this is a really pretty one, too. Who's this from? This is from Jeannie Calmus. And I love this paper with these flowers on and this cute little bunny. So she sent me a cute little Easter card, too. Isn't that pretty? It's so fun getting mail when you get cards in it. Here comes another beautiful one. This is from Dee Dee Tipkin. Dee Dee is one of my team members from Prescott, Arizona. Prescott Valley. Isn't that gorgeous? She's that cute little bunny set. Look at that. So, so much detail. So very pretty. Have a nice Easter. Ha hope you had a great time on stage. And I did. Here comes, oh, here comes a dog card. This is from um, my demonstrator friend, Karina Chin in um, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And Karina sent me this cool card. I helped her out with her um, Facebook Lives. And look at this. This is an easel card. So it sits up like this. Isn't that fun? Very cool. And it uses glossy white cardstock, which is a very cool technique. So thank you, Karina, if you're watching. I love your card. I'm still sniveling. Um, oh, here's another one with that cute little bunny. This is from Sally Stevens. Um, thank you so much for teaching me the double embossing folder technique. As you can see, I liked the tufted one the best. And she said, Happy Easter. And she did use that technique on here. Super, super cute card. Thank you so much. Sally is from Utah. And then we've got Sheila Schultz. This is so cute. My mom was opening this today, and she just thought this was the most adorable thing. Look at this bunny. This is made out of a heart. Can you see the heart here? Yeah. Super, super cute little punch art. Happy Easter um, from Sheila Schultz. I just love this. It makes me giggle. Super fun. Okay. And we have Trudy Barker. Trudy sent me this fun card. Cue the confetti. Congratulations. And look at the confetti. <gasps> look, at it pops up. And I didn't open it because I know it'll fly all over the place. But I thought, what a cute little idea. Um... She says, consider this card a belated April Fool's or a very early birthday. Either way, have a happy day. Trudy, that is so sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, look it. It's going to fly. <laughs> this probably is supposed to pop open. And um, mine was just really smushed in there. But we've got lots of cute confetti happening here. Push it down and then it just pops right back up. Oh, she's look it. She's got some type of... Um, rubber band in there that makes it pop back up so it lays down like this and then you open it up oh that's what it should do that is so funny oh my gosh I love that what a cute idea well thank you Trudy as you can see everybody loves a card they can play with right <laughs> oh. okay here we go. Um, this one is from Barbara Pike. Barbara, thank you so much for this really pretty thank you card. Um, we had a celebration dinner with our teams at Buka's in downtown Minneapolis. And she says the Buka celebration was great. Good to see you again. Isn't she sweet? That is so nice. And she made her own envelope out of the envelope punch board using soft suede cardstock so it matches. I love that. And then I got this cute Easter card from Mary Olson and that came with a bag of the Ghirardelli chocolates. Yeah, follow the bunny, he has the chocolate. 
So thank you, Mary. So, so pretty. All right, let me get some of this stuff moved out of the way so I can show you my loot because I know you're dying to see that. Oh, this confetti is too funny. I love it. All right, let me move that. Here we go. And, oh, this, I hope you guys can see this. This was our bag from on stage and it's really really pretty it's a nice big bag it's got a zipper in it it's got all kinds of pockets in here for your cell phones and glasses and um, all kinds of stuff so let me start emptying this beast out let's see first of all we got this beautiful notebook and this is some of our um, art images on in the new card kits but yeah it's just a notebook this came in our bag, so that was cool. And then we got these matching file folders, and these are just regular file folders. They're not in the catalog for sale. I think they were just a gift to us because um, we all need business file folders, right? I mean, I do, I use them. Look at how nice these are. They're really thick and heavy. I really love these. So they're just for business, so that was cool. And this was our on-stage um, flyer that was on our desk, at, or on our table setting it on stage. And there were just some table chatter activities to do, some mingle bingo and make connections with people. So that's kind of cool. Stampin' Up! was kind of giving us some ideas what we should be doing at home parties and classes to make things fun. All right. Now, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to just kind of dump all this stuff out of here so I can show you in some type of organization. Okay, there's prize patrol at all the Stampin' Up! events. And this is what I won. This is called Woven Heirlooms. It's a beautiful new stamp set coming out in that annual catalog. So absolutely gorgeous. I was excited to win it. I can't wait to start making some cool things with it. And then Daisy Lane goes with our Daisy Punch, but we also have a smaller Daisy Punch coming, so I'm excited. And I love the font on Smile and Friend, and I love stamps that say Smile because I think everybody should smile a little more often, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, and this was an all-attendee. Everybody got this in their bag. Then I have this gorgeous mosaic wood designer series paper. Connie says she can't wait to see the new catalog when it comes out. Sarah loves the woven heirloom stamp set. Yeah, it's really pretty. So check out this paper. Can you see that that is like clear embossed? It's like tile. And it's funny because I was just watching a documentary last night on Pompeii. And um, me and my mom were watching it because when I was in Italy, I went to Pompeii and saw all the ruins. And this so reminds me of the, I don't know, the bathhouses and all their mosaic artwork that they did. But So one side is um, not embossed. The other side is embossed. This is not embossed. This, oh, that's not embossed either. So I'm a liar. Oh, this is embossed. Can you see it? I didn't lie yet. <laughs> All these little flowers are embossed. And then this is the back side with the hummingbirds on it. Yeah, Gilmer says she she heard that the next on stage is in Lansing. Um, oh, you live close to Lansing. I really think I'm going to be going to Las Vegas for that one. So darn. Look at how pretty that is. And then this is the embossed side. Can you see the embossed? It's just so, so gorgeous, you guys. I love this paper. Again, this is embossed. It looks like little tiles and only the darker um, terracotta colors. I think that's the, one of the new in colors here. Those are the parts that are embossed on this one. And then we have some pretty yellow and this is all embossed. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. I know. This is not embossed. 
but this side is embossed. Oh, delicious. I think we're going to be seeing terracotta, or um, terracotta. I think we're going to be seeing mosaic in a lot of um, home decor and maybe even fashion, like our clothing, because that's what Stampin' Up! tends to follow, is the fashion industry on different trends, and I think that this mosaic is very trendy right now. So I think you're going to be seeing that if you check out your local, you know, home, like home goods stores or Burlington, well, maybe not Burlington Coat Factory, where else do I like to go? Um, for home decor, Kohl's has some nice stuff. I think you're going to be seeing a lot of mosaic stuff. So, yay. Um, okay, next. I have to share this card with you. This comes from Nancy Stormer. We call her Naughty Nancy. She's really funny. And she is part of my team. And she made this card for her make and take it on stage and gave it one to me. And this uses that um, layout that I showed you. Isn't this just gorgeous? This uses the Tea Together stamp set and then the Tea Time framelits were the brand new framelits you could get during celebration that were free with your $100 order. Now we are going to be seeing these in the new annual catalog, so I'm excited about that, right? Whoops. But isn't this card just gorgeous? Like Nancy really outdid herself here. And I was so happy to have one of these. So, so pretty. Okay, so that was Nancy's card. This was one of the make and takes using, I don't know what the stamp set is called, sail away or sales and something, I don't know. But anyways, this is one of our note cards and envelopes. Um, we've got design, two layers of designer series paper on here. Some of these little anchor embellishments. And we have... Uh, Greg Granite and Knight of Navy Baker's Twine. So that's a really cool addition. Okay. I was just about to ask that question. Oh, yeah, don't worry. You can get these framelits. So don't, don't worry. They'll be coming out in the annual catalog. Here comes another make and take. And isn't this pretty? I think this is part of... Nope, this looks like designer series paper. So designer series paper with the bird bundle. We've got some new lace trim coming. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I, I ordered, well, I ordered everything in the pre-order. I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a whore that way. Can I say that? <laughs> it's something we tease about a lot. But um, yeah, I ordered everything in the pre-order. So when I do my box unveiling, I'll show that to you. Um, um, you'll get to see all of these things in real life. Okay, this paper just has me absolutely drooling. I don't remember what it's called, but it is outstanding and beautiful. And then these little things, these are like little yellow puffs that go in the center of your flowers. Isn't that so, so pretty? The um, These are stamped on vellum and punched out without coordinating punch. So that's really cool. Cindy, hoarder. <laughs> Gilbert says, oh my gosh, did you just say that? I did. <laughs> All in fun, all in fun. Okay, and then we have, oh, oh, Annette says it's floral essence. Thank you, Annette. Thank you so much. Um, then we have this, and I think this is part of Shelly's next paper pumpkin kit. Am I right about that, you guys? Um, absolutely beautiful. Like, it's so, so pretty. These are die cuts. We've got some funky trim here. More die cut flowers popped up. Just absolutely beautiful. Love this. What else do I have here? Oh, here comes the last one, I think. This is a whole bundle. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, Shelly's Kit, Gilmore said. Excellent. I was right about that. <laughs> paper Pumpkin. This is the May Paper Pumpkin, you guys. If you do not subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, you want to get a subscription in before May 10th, and you will get this kit. Shelly Gardner is the co-founder of Stampin' Up! And she helped design this kit. So it's all in her style. It's beautiful. Here we go. Um, this is part of a bundle. Again, designer series paper. Really, really cute. We've also got an embossing folder that's buttons. So that that's not what this is. But that'll be fun to go with this. What else do I have here? These are just flyers. Okay, so now maybe I can start showing you some of the fun that I got. 
So when you go to these events, your friends and other people will sometimes bring you gifts. And I, I had gifts for all of my team members that were there. This is a business card holder. Insert your business cards here that my upline Ann Hebner gave. This has our statement of the heart on the back. Super fun. And you can put your business cards in here to keep them safe. And then she gave us some um, post-it note little things so we could mark things in our catalog, which I think is just really a cute idea. So that was nice. And some mints and a Werther's original. Gotta love that. Okay, the other thing that I got, uh, this is... This, this was so unexpected. Look at how cute this box is, first of all. This is the die from the Forever Lovely Bundle in the Occasions Mini Catalog. And um, this is one of our pizza boxes. But inside this cute little pizza box was a gift card to Kohl's, a gift card, which is like one of my favorite stores, a gift card to Maurice's, which is another of my favorite stores, and then a gift card to the Outpost, which is a place that has my favorite salad. And then I also got a gift certificate to my nail salon from my team members. And I was so not expecting that. And it was just so, I was so touched by that. So you guys know, if you're watching tonight, that I will take advantage of every single one of those gift cards. And I will love every minute of it. And watch for pictures, because I'll share pictures of me shopping and eating my salad, and getting my nails done. <laughs> so thank you so much. That was just so, so sweet. Another thing I got from somebody was a handmade by Kelly stamp, and this is what it looks like. So that was really nice. I think that was from um, Brina, maybe? And then, check this out. Let me open this up. So, you know, we all use the liquid glue, and I always prop mine up in my little basket off to the side over here, kind of standing up like that. So the glue is at the tip. Look at that cute little, like, Sherbert, miniature Sherbert disc is perfect for the glue, right? So I got this. Um, I think this came from my upline also. Maybe? I think so. Things get a little confusing, but hang on because I have another really cool one to show you. So then I got this from Wendy Sue, and I was super excited about this. Check this out, you guys. Look at this. This holds our glue bottle perfectly. This is made with a 3D printer. Isn't that awesome? Wendy Sue, I couldn't wait to, I didn't want to take this out of the bag and put it on my desk and start using it until I shared it with everyone because I didn't want to forget to share it, right? So now that I've shared it, I can set it right on my desk. I love it. It is absolutely fantastic. So thank you so much for that. Then, let's see, what else did I get? Oh, this was fun. This came from Lisa Nealand, and it is a little um, container that has, um, oh, that... Germy hand stuff. What is that called, you guys? Antibacterial gel. <laughs> the germy hand stuff. <laughs> some post-it notes and some chapstick. And isn't this just cute? This was just a little gift she gave. And she's Lisa's part of my team. So that was so sweet. Using Butterfly Punch and the Share What You Love Designer Series paper. Okay. Uh, let me grab something else here. Oh, we get a pen in our bag from Stampin' Up. A couple different pens. Look at this. How cute is this? This is from Amy Deschler. She's also part of my team. Party queen. Look at that. A nice fingernail file. And look at how pretty. It's all in the details, right? I think this was made with the um, envelope punch board, you guys. Super, super cute. That's also retiring, but oh, love, love, love. Super cute. Oh, this was my prize patrol button. I was a number five prize patrol. That's how I won this stamp set, the woven heirlooms. Oh, Marcia said hand sanitizer. Yes, that's what it's called. <laughs> that germy hand stuff. <laughs> Here is another punch. This is called timeless label punch. Let me um, let me get it open so you can see it because I know it glares in the camera light. Check that out. Um, yeah. Super cool, right? So that's a brand new punch coming out. 
toss that in the garbage. What else do I have in here? Oh my gosh, I got, oh, I got, I took the dice off our table. I'm not really quite sure why we had it, but I have kind of a problem paying attention at these things because there's so much going on. So they probably told us what the dice was. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, look at this. Who made this? Barbara Pike. Again, she's the one who sent me that nice card, but check this out. This uses the um, sweet treats. And it's got this little pocket in it for a, oh, and this is this, oh, this is a dark chocolate sea salt caramel, kind of like the ones Mary gave me. They are dark chocolate, intense dark chocolate with sea salt saray, and they also have roasted almonds in them. Yeah, naughty, naughty. I should show you guys my chocolate, um, oh, shoot, I just got rid of that. I should show you my chocolate drawer sometime. I have a chocolate drawer in my office that's mostly for props. Maybe I'll do that sometime. And um, I do not eat the props. <laughs> but these, I'm not gonna lie, I will eat these. Yeah. Okay, so there's something really cool. Then here's some of those little embellishments that I got. Uh, before you toss the wrapper in the bin, cut out the name and item number and stick it to your punch. Oh, that's a really good idea. Thanks, Angie. That's pretty smart. Okay, here's these perennial essence floral centers. And look at how cool they are. So here's here's the front and here's the back. They're self-adhesive and they're all like furry. Yeah, and these go in the center of your flowers. Super cool, right? So what happens when you go to an onstage event is there's usually five or six people sitting at a table. And in the middle of the table is a box of supplies to do all of our make and takes with, right? All of these cards that we make. When we're done at the end of the day, that's probably what the dice is for. Everybody rolls the dice, see who goes first. But one person grabs the box and you get to pick an item out of it and we pass it and they get to pick an item and pass it and they get to pick an item. So um, this is what I picked is um, these embellishments and the sail away trinket. So I can show these to you too. Once I have these in my hand, I can show them to you, but I can't show you the inside of the catalog. So here are the trinkets that go with that sail, whatever it's called, stamp set that's coming out. Where'd that go? The lighthouse, the new lighthouse stamp set. Hang on. There we go. This one. It says, let hope be your anchor through the storms of life. So what did my husband say today? Haley said she wanted us to do something for her vows at her wedding. She wants us to write a letter, I think, to her, and that'll be read at her at her and during her vows. And what did her dad say? Steve said something like, "Get ready, here comes real life," or something like that. It was really funny. Now it's not funny because I blew it. I blew the joke. But anyways, it was kind of funny. When I when he says it again, I'll remember. Because he will say it again. I think that's all the stuff that I have. Oh, here's another cutie patootie little thing. I think this had some candy in it. And I think I ate it. <laughs> but look at this. is with our little apron. It's got all those cute little tools. Kitchen tools in it. Super cute. I don't remember who made this. But I did eat the... There was something in here and I ate it. So... We had a fantastic time at on stage. Um, we got a lot of stuff done. Being there extra time was really fun with my friends. So that was fun. Was there anything else I was going to share with you guys that I missed? Let me look at my notes here. Um, I don't think so. I think that's about it. I think what I'll do is post the retirement list again here on my page when I get off. I will put up all the dimensions for um, the cards that I showed you tonight. I have all the dimensions for this, this, and this. And don't forget, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at stampabum.com. This is my blog address. This is the monthly host code that I have going right now if your order is under $150. I always appreciate your orders. I also appreciate your comments and doing this, which I can't say anymore because Facebook hates it. <laughs> okay, um, if you're watching later on YouTube, I also appreciate you doing this. And there's a little bell you can ring. Click on that like button. That really helps me out too, you guys. 
I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Sunday night, a fantastic week. I am going to pop in randomly on my page to do my um, purchase, premiere, purchase premiere box opening. I've opened the box, but I haven't taken anything out of it yet. I thought I'd share that with you. I'll probably do that Tuesday or Wednesday. Regardless, it'll be um, saved to my Facebook page, so you'll be able to watch it whenever in case you're gone during the day or you miss it. Did anybody have any questions that I missed? Questions or comments you wanted me to address that I missed because I would be happy to answer those right now. I'm watching. I don't see anything popping up. You guys, too, have, oh, keep you posted on the Vegas on stage. Um, I will, Wendy Sue. I'm thinking we are going to do Vegas. That's going to be a lot of fun. You're welcome, Pamela. You're welcome. Thank you so much for your kindness. I always appreciate that. Have a wonderful night, everybody. Bye-bye.